right, so little life update. I'm gonna sit down here so we can all, you know, just chill. Like we're just hanging out on a couch. Wow, that is not what my hair should be doing. Okay, <laughs> so yesterday was such a good day, but so, so long. I had a conversation with Vince that was so good. I haven't talked to him in a really, really long time. He's currently working on the next cohort of Summer Founders. One year ago, we were in Summer Founders, which blows my mind. And we were talking about so many deep, awesome things, like impact. He asked like, so what does impact mean to you? I said, you know, it can be even the smallest thing right it could be smiling at a stranger on the street or holding the door for them and that ripple effect can create massive waves of change you know that person if you smile on them in the street they might go and they might hold a door for a stranger and then you know that person maybe buys a cup of coffee for someone experiencing homelessness and then that person you know could share that with one of their friends like who knows what it is it doesn't matter how small but that's what impact means to me. And he was like, wow, that is fascinating. I usually just think of that as people being good humans, but that's, you know, an assumption. Not everyone does that. Anyway, it was just such a good conversation. And, you know, we're talking about what adventure on phase two could look like. Oh, hello, Aurora. You want to cuddle with mommy? My top is really slippery, so she just kind of slides off. <laughs> But anyway, I haven't gone to Ventron in a while because every time I win, I was the furthest along venture and there weren't really people experiencing the same challenges that I was. Okay, okay, not the butt in the face. Nope, nope. Okay, so anyway, I'm really craving that community of people who are further along like we are. I was talking to him about that and he was like, hey, come up with some ideas and you know, we could put something together. Mm -hmm. She's such a cutie, such a cutie. Mm -hmm. You are a mess. Oh, is that good? Do we like that? Okay, okay, I'm happy with that. Now I can't get up. I just sat down to vlog and now I can't get back up. <laughs> But anyway, so that was just a great conversation. I talked to Vince for an hour and a half. So then last night I also went on a socially distanced hike slash walk with my friend Chris and he brought his dogs, Bonnie and Megan, and they were so cute. So that was just really fun as well because definitely have FOMO of the world getting back to normal and I can't, so that sucks. So anyway, that was definitely a fun evening and I'm surprisingly not as sore as I thought I was gonna be today from all of the walking. I walked like 15,000 steps, which is a lot for me. Can I help you? Why are you staring at me still? So today is another Focus Friday and I'm getting to work on my vlogs already and I'm feeling productive, so that is going well. All right, let's continue the day. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I have not gotten up in like 15 minutes because when I did the recording, we remember who sat on my lap, right? Yeah, I thought so. And now I can't move because <laughs> she looks too cute and happy and cuddly and she hasn't been feeling well, so I wanna give her this win, you know? I wanna make her feel loved. But now I'm not getting any work done, which is highly annoying and I'm just getting more and more tired the longer I sit here. <sighs> okay, cool, she didn't like that, so now we're up. <laughs> So now we can actually get some work done. It is time to work hard and not take breaks. No, just kidding, I'm really tired. We're gonna dig more breaks and that's okay. All right, let's get back to work. <laughs> Did I just come from laying on the couch? Maybe. Do I look a little frazzled and a little couch-like? Yes, also maybe. <laughs> Anyway, I'm loving my Focus Friday today. I feel like I'm allowing myself to watch YouTubers that inspire me like Megan Batoon, Lily Singh to get their energy back. So I feel like I'm starting to pick up some of their mannerisms and stuff as well. But those are the types of creative personalities that really inspire me with the work that they do and their you know, on-camera personalities. So anyway, <laughs> I have one vlog done officially and I'm so proud of myself. And this is the earliest I've gotten a vlog done on a Friday so far, on my Focus Friday. I really wanna get another vlog done too, so I'll have tomorrow's and next Wednesday's done for all of next week. But it is five o'clock already, and I also really need to get a bunch of emails done today. I'm gonna to hang out with my dad tonight a little bit because I have plans for this weekend, so I won't be seeing him too much over the weekend. And I just feel like there's so much stuff I still have to do and I still feel so tired. So I'm trying to balance like, okay, yes, it is your focus Friday and you wanna do creative work, but you can also rest and that's okay too. 
So yeah, I'm just trying to balance all of that together into one. So I think I'm gonna try to get a bunch more work done, set up a time later to watch The Bachelor with my dad, and then that will be like my time off tonight starting then. So I'm gonna try to get emails done. I'm trying to get this next vlog edited before then. So let's go. So I'm feeling super inspired because I was just watching Megan Batoon and she does all this DIY stuff. And so remember the bench, which you can't see, it's over here. Yes, mom's saying here, I can show from here. You really still can't see it. It's right there, still can't see it. <laughs> what I wanna do is take one of these stones that is in our pathway, our little walkway from kind of the driveway to the house, take one of the stones, put it under the bench, so then when I'm sitting on the bench, I don't have to worry about freaking ticks crawling up my leg because ticks aren't on stone, they are on grass and all of that. I'm so excited, so let's pick a stone to put under our bench, let's do it. So these are the stones that we have to choose from. We have some very, very large ones, some also big ones. Yes, we're not taking those, so I'm very clear about that. So we're taking one of these small ones, or maybe two of the small ones, and putting it next to the bench. All right, we have found our stones. We have two here that are so cute. Look how adorable. So I'm gonna grab them and take them over to the bench and let's do this. All right, I am a strong woman. Grabbing both of them, one hand. All right, let's go. Okay, they're getting a little heavy. <laughs> We're gonna readjust. And up we go again. <laughs> Halfway there. Go, go, go. Okay, we can do it. <laughs> strong fingers, think strong fingers. We made it. Oh yeah, good stuff. All right, let's set these up. <laughs> All right, this is what it looks like. It's so cute. So we have decided on those two stones. You're behind it. <laughs> she says she doesn't want to be in the shot and then guess where she goes, in the shot. <laughs> anyway, so. We got these stones here, and so the next step is we're gonna put mulch under them so that the stones are flat. That stone is a little uh, little wiggly, not gonna lie, but it looks so cute, and now we can put our feet on there instead of being on the grass, which is very, very nice. And then we can look out over our beautiful view here. Absolutely loving it. All right, so I've come out on the deck to work a little bit. I'm trying to finish up that vlog. Also, I have like so much acne right now, and I have figured out that whenever I eat processed food, specifically chips, right, <laughs> or, or snacky stuff like that, like that we have this gluten-free like Cheeto that's really good, those come through my skin so fast and it is so frustrating. And then obviously wearing masks, I've been wearing masks a lot to go on walks and I double mask and I will sweat a lot. Like when I'm playing badminton with my dad, I'll be wearing a mask and I'll sweat a lot through the mask. Obviously that's disgusting, but there's bacteria in there that just stays and rubs on your skin, which is so gross. But yeah, I've been having these like outbreaks of acne, which aren't too bad, like they're, they're really not that noticeable, but it's worse than my skin has been for a while, which I'm so grateful for. I used to have terrible, terrible adult acne, and then I kind of got on a specific type of medication that actually helps it a lot, and it's really cleared my face up because it was really, really bad. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really grateful for having clear skin, and this truly is still pretty clear, but I'm kind of getting in tune with my body and noticing those things, which, I appreciate that I'm so in tune. <laughs> so this really cool beetle just dropped out of the sky. I heard him slam into the deck. Wow, buddy. Do you want some help? Here, don't bite me, okay? Dude, I was trying to help you. My man. Yeah. There we go. Super cool. Hold on, buddy, you're going for a ride. What a stud. All right, buddy, I'm gonna put you over here, okay? I rescued you, you're welcome. Here you go. You can let go now. <laughs> I think it's like a June beetle or something. I'm probably very, very wrong, so ignore me. But he's so cute! <laughs> Alright, we got some villain lighting here, but I just wanted to say, the rest of the room is so dark. 
so this is my spotlight but i want to say i finished vlog two so now it is time to go outside i'm going to meditate for a bit and respond to some messages all right let's do this 